everybody this is your girl EJ Speaks and I'm gonna tell you about the nightmare story I had in the nail shop when you go to the nail shop they do not speak English so you already feel insecure about your own decisions so I go in I say hello I just need a full set right away she takes away my full set decision and she says oh no honey you need gel now no ma'am I just want a full set oh no honey I tell you why no you need gel now so immediately I feel the room closing in on me I'm alone in a land that's unfamiliar to me and it's like okay I only brought $27 um, what's about to happen if I take this gel nail? It's gonna be a gel nail, all right. I'm gonna go to jail because I bet this gel nail costs more than the 27 that I brought in. That's one, okay? Number two, I feel like every time I go in to get my nails done, no matter how sure I am of myself, no matter how confident I am, <laughs> No matter how strong I feel about me, as soon as they start speaking their native tongue, I feel that they're talking about me. It's like I tell them the service that I want. They offer me a different service. I tell them, no, I want what I said I want. And then immediately it's, I don't know, right, right, right. Here, 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 here's the thing about that for me. I don't mind you speaking your native tongue. The thing is, I can't argue back with you while you speak about me in your native tongue. So I have to sit there and pay for these services while being verbally abused more than likely and have to wonder if a gel nail really is better than the full set that I wanted anyway. Why didn't I bring more than $27? So I sit there and there are about eight levels of discomfort because I don't know what the heck is going on. I don't know what the heck is being said. No one is speaking English and then everybody's watching Lifetime. How sway? Hmm? Hmm. So she finishes my nails and she tells me, go wash your hands. Poo-poo, where? Where do you want me to go wash my hands? This isn't my house. Where, honey? I'm assuming she thought I was a regular. I'm not. So I'm like, oh, whoa, whoa, who? Do? <laughs> so she's, she's irritated because I don't know where I'm at. There. There. Oh, so you talk in your native tongue. But you get mad in English. Oh. How? Shui Kim. Hmm? Hmm. I wash my hands like Shui Kim told me to do. Let her boo bop bop be doo boo boo and let her get done with everything that she needed to do and I headed home. So like two days go by and I notice like one of the fingers is tingling, you know. And it's not like a, ooh, girl, my hands is tingling. That must mean I'm about to come in some money. No, it wasn't. It wasn't like that. It was just one finger. Just kind of, gosh, just kind of itching and burning and tingling. Oh, my gosh. I ended up taking all the polish off to see what was going on under the paint. Maybe it was a bite. Maybe it was something that I just couldn't see. So I take off the polish and it's just kind of red at the lining of the cuticle. And I said, well, maybe she just was buffing too hard. Maybe she was just being Buffy the cuticle slayer. Huh, Buffy? So I got some Vaseline just to kind of ease it, you know, make it better. Okay, the Vaseline um, didn't help. So at this point, I started rubbing like Campo Fanique and Hydrocortisone Cream because it's, it's red, it's itching, and it's burning. And I just wanted to soothe and make it stop. I'm having all types of frustrations like, this is why I don't get my nails done. This is why I don't fool with the nail shops. This is why I want my $27 back. 
So by this time, the nail is almost purple. The skin is swollen, it's bulky, it's pussified. I don't know if everyone knows what pussified is, but that means it's infection time. So I go to another nail salon just for a soak off. And I'm thinking that this is gonna be the end of it because surely there's a snake egg or a tapeworm under the nail, right? We do the soak off, let my hand rest. The next day, my nail is still hurting. I ended up having to go to the emergency room because now my nail is bigger than my ear. The doctor came in, he was like, I'm sorry, but we're gonna have to remove that nail. And I was like, oh no, I already did the soak off, already took it off. He was like, uh-uh, that nail. I said, my real nail? He said, your real nail. I said, doc, the nail I was born with. He said, mm-hmm, the nail you were born with. The world didn't give it. Ooh, and the world can't take it away. Like, I don't understand what you're saying. You saying you gonna take it? Um, that's not even Bible. He said, yeah, I gotta take it. Your finger is very badly infected. <laughs> Sway Kim. Bro, he took off my whole nail. What are you doing with your life that you only have nine nails? She's sitting up talking about, I need jail nail. No, I need my original nail. So the doctor said this is what can sometimes happen when nail salons don't clean their utensils. This does not happen at every nail salon. Every nail salon is not nasty, but it does happen. This just further lets me know um, getting my nails done is just not for me. Um, what you're not gonna do is have me walking around with nine fingernails and a nub and I'm $27 broker.